Peggy 12. There are several things that we actually try to achieve with each elite specialization. One of the first is that it feels like it's significantly changing the profession that they're playing, some of the core profession mechanics. I think there's a lot of different avenues we can go down for that. Sometimes it's looking to types of play styles that we haven't explored yet for that particular specialization. By doing so, it feels largely like a new profession that you're playing. I think it really opens things up to players to do what they want to do and feel really awesome about doing it. Each elite specialization kind of comes from a different place. Some characters, they come from name alone. When we were developing the Mesmer Elite Specialization, someone in one of the very early sessions uh, spitballed the name Mirage. It was like, okay, they had just won. No one else was gonna say anything that was better than that. It gave us the sense of dodging, the sense of not being there when you think it's there. It gave us a lot of ideas for how we wanted the utility skills to work. It gave us a sense of the weapon that we wanted to work with it. Whereas something like the Holosmith came from a lot of examining different types of game mechanics that we could give to the engineer. We try to keep things as fresh as possible by exploring into spaces that we find each of the professions lacking. Necromancers have never had access to anything supportive or party-based. That's kind of something that we're now giving them the option to do with the new specialization. A lot goes into making elite specs happen. We work with concept artists to try and make sure that the feel is right and that it's expressing the right types of moods for the specialization. We work with the raids team if there's a problem with one of the mechanics we're having that might influence raids or world v world or PvP or so. You know, we'll develop particular aspects of a specialization more or less depending on some of the feedback we get from other design disciplines. But at some point, we have to kind of tie things off from a design side and hand them off to other teams. And that's kind of when the elite specs start coming to life. When you're doing new sounds for a, an existing uh, profession, you want them all to really fit together and feel as part of a whole, but you still want to interject something new and a little bit different. I always uh, enjoy anything uh, Mesmer related because, you know, I really went crazy on creating very disjointed sets of tones for the Mesmer, so it's always cool to revisit that and try to add to that palette. When you can play it as a complete package, it starts to feel really cool. Probably one of the largest hurdles that we run into when developing an elite specialization is trying to perceive all of the consequences of every change that you're going to make to the core profession. We have a fairly limited space to work with and we have to provide a lot of options there that all feel good to pick while at the same time all feeling very distinct from each other. Everything that you do, everything that you add is going to have an effect on every single component. One of the crazier ideas we had was for the elementalist specialization, the weaver. Because you can juggle two elements, we calculated exactly how many new skills that would end up being. And looking at that on paper, it's like, there's no way we're going to be able to make this many skills. But I think the team really came together and he ended up having just a lot of really fun and interesting skills that he can combine. It's kind of hard to get it just right, but we're definitely working toward the best feeling balance that we possibly can. After you've built this stuff, you end up playing it for a while to see how it feels. Sometimes you scrap it early, sometimes you stick with it for a while and then scrap it later. And other times, it only needs a couple of small adjustments to make it work the way you want it to. The Firebrand, the Hollow Smith, the Renegade, they underwent like virtually complete revamps at multiple points in time. Utilities, traits, just about everything. The Scourge had to go through a lot of work. For a while, it was the case that people just wanted to stack the shades on top of one another. And we're like, hey, this is this is cool, but at the same time, we want to make sure that this character has like the grand field play, like it's a puppeteer and allowing the allies to survive and enemies to, <laughs> well, to die, I guess. <laughs> and we have to look at it across multiple modes of gameplay, which are very different. We have to look at it from like one-on-ones to five-on-fives to many-on-manys, and then we have to look at it 50 people against a world boss in numerous scenarios. And those all need to feel like your profession has a role that they can fulfill. I think what's great about Guild Wars is that there are nine different professions that already play pretty differently from each other. And I think elite specialists kind of allow you to either dip your toes into what a different profession might experience or to just try an entirely different play style that you hadn't considered before. I want players to feel excited hopefully a little bit overwhelmed at the choices that they have and the feeling that 
all of the choices that they make are going to feel meaningful and awesome.